seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. From Yankee Town, it's Wednesday night. It's Weeby Taylor. I'm Captain Eric Hasty, and this is Yan King. Can't believe you just put on a hat. We're gonna give to somebody later. They're getting free cooties. <sighs> Man, <laughs> we gotta give it away, give it away, give it away now. I'll clean it out. <laughs> We're going to have a good show for you tonight. As usual, we're shooting live from beautiful downtown Inglis at Captain's Cove Outfitters. Hence all the stuff in the background, in case you didn't know. <laughs> They're back. The, the trolling lures yeah, are back. I yep. John, John I is right there. Them. <laughs> John, John is right next to the trolling lures. So they he is sure are pretty. Very excited about grouper season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's only days away, but we're talking about cobias. So there you go. Can't be talking about grouper. There we go. We got a couple of tournaments we're going to talk about. We're going to recap the spring fling we just had uh, Saturday. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, Cobia, which also happens to be the fish of the month for the belt. So should be a good show. Stick around to the end so you can uh, maybe learn something and have a little fun. You all right? Look like you're crying. Am I? You got your eye all red. Are you sad? No, I'm happy. <laughs> well, for now. I'll be happier tomorrow. Yeah? Well, you, you, you'll be sure. You know, yeah. you, it'll be a done, no worries tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, right? You're, no you're probably not even going to sleep yeah. tonight. But I did. Uh, oh, no, no. I <laughs> my pants today. So that's bad. So I'm having to say sitting down during this broadcast. What, what, what? <laughs> Thank you for standing up so you can share with everybody that you I ripped your pants. I had to share that I ripped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens. Oh. We lost two viewers. <laughs> so <laughs> I asked my boy at work, I said, man, I feel kind of cold. Yeah. What is that? Yep. He's like, you got to hold your pants. That's what happens when the cobia come in hot. The, the little stickers things mm -hmm. rip my pants. Today. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. The little pokers on the That's back right, right he there. Got the me. spines he got, got you. Me. Huh? He got me. Made a crack <laughs> right down it. You never know what you're going to get on Weeby Taylor. Nope. Especially live. Yeah, I had to get myself <laughs> in the game. It's waking me up because I ate and I'm tired now. Well, here's the thing. You know, yeah. so the swap up is is it's good cool. with the time, but, but, but eating. eating first really puts you in an unmotivated yeah. state of mind. You, when you know. I was young, it was charged. <laughs> now that I'm old, it's go to sleep where, where's the remote control yeah. and where can i put my feet up yeah. and uh you know so we're, we're trying to bring you the same good quality uh, level of intensity you're used to on a fat stomach after eating a big old piece of salmon <laughs> oh that salmon was good tonight boy there you go. i like their salmon yeah and yeah. it's healthy for me the pork chop wasn't so bad yeah either. no your pork chop was huge yeah <laughs> Good God, that thing was that thick and that, dude, I mean, Blackwater's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Let's just be honest about this. It's pretty And the prices bad. are semi-decent for, I mean, I paid 23 bucks for a huge, big piece of salmon that big on top of slaw with teriyaki on it. No, it was perfect. Mm. So, John, let's see if anybody's here. They're um, on now. <laughs> <laughs> there, there were some people, and then the viewership went down quick. I don't know what it happened. They left. <laughs> <laughs> So we got Chris on there. Chris, good to see you this weekend. Uh, Jacinda, we saw her. Tyler. Seen him. Yeah. There's, uh, hey, John King is on there. Hey, he imagine is. that. Oh, his phone died. <laughs> There's Captain Susie. Hey there. There's we Bonnie. We've seen her. Yep. We've seen her. Sam's on. What's up, buddy? Ty's there. Justin, what's up? Dale, we saw you guys. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But yep. Dale and Denise, they did something real special there. That they was cool. Did. Dan, you were there. Dan, Dan traveled all the way from up north just to come down for the party, so wow. that was awesome. Yep. 
I'm uh, starting some work, so I can't tune in, but I figured I'd stop by and leave a comment. There you go. There Thank you, you, Thomas. Go. Hit and run. <laughs> That's a hit and run. Oh, Derek, there we go. The family is here to learn how the professionals do it. Oh, great. Well, then you and need to check out www. Whole... <laughs> That's what I told him. He, he, I, he, said, he said, our kids are watching so they can learn how to catch fish for the professionals. I said, oh. my two words were, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> but, but Derek, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> uh-oh. happy birthday? Yeah, today yeah. is his birthday. Yeah. All right, good deal. Yeah. There we no, go. Derek's nice. Derek's birthday today. All right. yeah. He's 23. Katie's Odd on there. to be young again. He's 23? Yeah, he's only 23 years old. He's a youngin'. Sweet Jesus. Where do you get them kids from I at that know. age, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, James, what's up, buddy? Brian's on there. Whoa, whoa man, it, it, it's, it's popping it's up quick. On. Susie, what's up, Susie? And there's Donna. <laughs> we'll talk about Donna here in yeah, a little bit as we've well. We've seen Donna. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen Donna. Donna's got mad skills. Donna has mad she skills. She does. <laughs> Jessica, she was there. Yep. We saw her. <laughs> it's been a busy week. Yes, it has. <laughs> All right. Simon, Jim just told me about the show. All right. Well, there you go. Well, thanks, Jim. And uh, Simon, welcome to the show. <laughs> Frost, what's up, buddy? Russell, what's happening, sir? I'm going to put Frost to work, and hopefully. Laura, there you go. Yep. <laughs> I'm putting Frost to work. Uh, Frost, I need a stereo. I need the boat to go. What's that song? I like the boats that go boom. Well, it was the cars that go the boom. The cars. Well, I want the but, boats to go boom. But you want to, I'm on a boat song to play really Oh, no, well. no. Yeah. I want the boats to go boom. Yeah. Well, yep. apparently Frost is hooked up with somebody right. he said that they're going to do yep. all this audio yes, stuff. So yeah, that, Frost that is going to cool. hook yep. me up with the boat that goes boom. Not boom, but boom. The boat that you're selling. <laughs> yeah. No. The one that I'm getting. Oh, you're not going to get you're, one. You're not going to boom the one that you're selling? I could care less about that one now. <laughs> I want to boom the one I'm getting, not the one that I have. <laughs> because everybody has to hear John coming. That's right. <laughs> All right. I need to go. I know that sound. <laughs> that, that sounds like John. <laughs> They're going to hate me in the river again. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Well, John, the Blackwater Fishing Club had its meeting Thursday and its tournament on Saturday. Um, that was uh, that was cool. I don't we, we we were unable to make either, but it looks like they had a good turnout. And um, there's your winners right there. So it was Lawrence and his son Michael for the win, first and second on Redfish, and uh, Jeff and David were first and second in trout right nice, there. So yeah. congratulations, guys. Way to go. That, uh, that was pretty good. I know Saturday was a little, uh, a little bit of a rough day to be out there. Yeah. but um, Lawrence is finding the reds, and David's finding the trout, and Jeff's finding the trout, so they know where they're at. The trout? Are, yep. They're, they're, they're there. They're still here. Yep. You know, you just got to know where to look. Yep, just got to know where to look. You know. Do you know where to look? Yes, Oh, do you I know? just don't fish for trout. Oh. Yeah, but I know yeah. exactly where they well, caught them Well, i tell at. you what. Now, <laughs> I know where they caught them at, but I don't fish there. I don't get excited about trout. But. But. If you're getting them 20-plus inch trout, I'm fun. all in. Oh, yeah, they're and, fun. And, I've, and, we, and we did some of that this past season. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, I could be converted yep. if that's all that we would catch. When a trout takes drag, <laughs> you know, that's, that's the man. It is. Yeah. I, I, and I, I enjoy that, yep. Let's see, Brian. We going with you very soon, Eric. Where are we going, Brian? Yeah, where are y'all going? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe we're going fishing. Um, he must be chartering <laughs> you. Maybe he's won something. I don't know. Or maybe uh -oh. he just wants to come see. I don't Who know. knows? I don't know. I like it. I like people on the boat. Boom, boom, boom. Here he comes. John K. <laughs> <laughs> this may or may not be me. <laughs> More well, than likely, it's me. Here's the thing. John yeah. will play some boom, 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 but then he'll also blare that country. So you never know what you're going to get on that boat. I'm going to stay know? with the boom because I'm getting two tens and four eights. That's what <laughs> I want. So Frost, two tens, four eights, a big amp, and a, and a, and a nice controller, and we need to go the, the boat that goes boom. I'll be his uh, display boat, so that people know what kind of uh, what kind of power he's putting out. What so it can gonna, do. That's right. Yep. I'm nice. gonna pay for the to be the display boat for Frost. That way we can show Frost work and get Frost uh, doing boat installs all over the United States, Florida. 
<laughs> Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> All over the United States, Florida. All over the USA, Florida. Florida. Like, I ain't traveling from Florida. <laughs> Florida, USA. I like it. All right. Well, good deal. Well, guys, uh, let's see. Talking about our topic tonight, Cobia, which will be coming up later in the show. Captain's Cove is still running their Cobia tournament through the 21st, is it, John? 21st? Uh, what does it say there? I don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, fact checkers will get us. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Through 21st. the 21st. So I was it. correct. All right. Yeah. So, uh, and, the, and, the, and you don't really have that big of a number to beat. What? 33 pounds. I think 33.4 yeah. uh, pounds. That, that is, can be done. That's on the leaderboard. Uh, matter right of fact, yeah. Missy's tournament has Kobe in it. And that's the last day you can enter the tournament. So when you enter Missy's tournament, sign up for the Kobe because Kobe is in the tournament. And, uh, I'm hoping to beat it on that day. Are you now? I'm going for the win. Really? Yep, I'm going for the Kobe win. There we go. Speaking of Missy's tournament, boom! Boom, there, there it is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. If you haven't got signed up, get signed up for uh, the Hooking with Habitat by Missy King there. May 21st uh, with a meeting, uh, captain's meeting on Friday the 20th. Uh, this is going to be an awesome event. Uh, this is what, the third or fourth third one? one? Third one. Yeah, yeah I think so, it's third one now. So, um... God, it seems like it's more than that. But, or it uh, might be the fourth one. It, it, I think that's the fourth one. Yeah. I, yep. Maybe. Fourth. I don't know. Maybe she, third it's, or fourth. It's been, going, it's been going on for a she, while, she's, though. She's yeah, got so. them down pat now because they've already got so many people entered that they've already upped the prize already. Um, that's what they do. The more money they make, the more the prizes they give out. Yeah. There's going to be rods and reels for kids. Um, who knows? You might be have a kid walking around, and John just might fall out of the sky and drop a rod and reel on your kid. I mean, you know, nicely. Here's your rod and reel. <laughs> Not like drop one. <laughs> but you never know what could happen. Yeah. Because John's like that. So let's see. Laura said the Swanee winning trout was only 1.2 pounds. Of Whoa. course, we couldn't find one at all. So. Whoa. That was a bad day then because so, usually those yeah, are get, five, they six They get the pound six, seven trout. pounders yeah. up there in Whoa. Swanee. So that's, those uh, trout hit or wow. something. Holy mackerel. That's very rare. Yeah, the Kobe are thick this year as far as the numbers and the weight. Well, Brian, stop giving away the secrets. We're going right. to get to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get easy, there. Easy, easy. <laughs> We're going to tell you how not to catch a Kobe. I mean, how to catch a Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We, we, well, we, we pretend to know something about that. <laughs> we try. <laughs> you can we take go. our word for it. Yep. <laughs> you uh, can get a good look at a t-bone yeah by like sticking your head up a bull's cow's butt rooter and, yeah but man. i don't think i'd rather take the butcher's word for it <laughs> there we go <laughs> all right guys just coming up here real quick this friday celebration of uh captain dan climber's life right there a lot of things going on friday uh look up uh dan climber on facebook to get all the information where that will all be legible and uh we plan to see you know everybody out there like i said look up uh Dan Clymer on Facebook for all the information. Uh, I think there's going to yeah. be a boat parade. Boat parade followed by the spreading of his ashes, and, and then, then come a back to party the, later on that. Yeah, evening. they're going to come back yeah. to to the plantation on that point. I think will be when it resolves at the end there. So. Yeah. So, so like I said, look, look, too much there to read, but lots of information. Uh, look it up on Facebook on his Facebook page, and uh, you'll get all the info. So uh, we'll see you there. Um, Friday. Yep, so Friday night. All right, so where has that put us, John? Damn, that's put us to Captain's Corner. Already. And, 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 and we've got one. And, and this person... This person is darn near becoming famous on the show I, because they, they do a Captain's Corner all the time. Yep. They're lucky as hell. <laughs> and I think there's some skill in there. there oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, I, I expected... To be honest with you, I expected to see them more on Saturday night up there collected prizes. They yeah, did collect they one. Did. They did get one. They got one. Yeah, they, but, they, they stayed, know, the they stayed with their too. luck. I think she was being nice, yeah. letting somebody else win. There you go. Yep. That's the way we can look at that. Yep. So what we're talking about is Captain's Corner, and that's where everybody is a captain of their own vessel. And what we're looking for is uh, a fishing report from you. We've got 15 to 30 seconds of... Uh, Hey, this is what we caught our fish on. This is where we caught it. You know, here's what's going on. You know, like I said, 15, 30 seconds worth, and we'll make you uh, YouTube famous. It's easy. 
Easy peasy. Once you uh, once your you phone film sideways. it, yep, film it this way. Yep, not this way or, 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 or this way. We're we're not doing um, Instagram. We're we're yep. doing YouTube. So film film that way, and then send it to uh, Captain Eric Hasty at gmail dot com. Shasty McNasty Fishing on Facebook or text it to three five two 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 zero three two zero six. You can be YouTube famous for a few seconds. You can. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look, John. Here is. Jessica with a uh, interesting report. Here we go. Jessica, Captain's Corner, just caught an 18 inch trout. Now I just got my second flounder ever at 14. I told him I was gonna get one today and I sure did. Tight lines using Little John's. All right, awesome. So uh, I think she said that was her second ever only I, I love flounder. flounder. They are my because that, like you said, you have to wait for that thump. Oh yeah, and it's another feel of catching a fish because you're like, what was that? And by the time you've done that, it's too late. But but if you know what that thud is, that's yeah. a flounder, and you just set the hook, and then and they fight weird, and then this thing comes up like this. It's like get the net, get the net. <laughs> You, years of fishing the East Coast for yep, flounder. You knew that you know, bump. That's, I, I know that bump distinctively. Yep. <laughs> you know, I've gotten better I'll, I'll even think that may be that bump, and knowing that it may just be hung on a rock or stuck yep. in grass, you I'll still give it, it a little stick, yep. you know, just to make sure, you know, it, it's not a flounder, yep. you know. But nine times out of ten, it's a flounder. I'm pulling in a flounder, <laughs> and I'm like, I knew that felt like a flounder, yeah, bite. <laughs> and we found a great flounder spot where there's lots of flounder, and yeah. just they keep being there, and it's nice. Yep. Nice to see. So there you go. Like so, them flounder. Uh, Jessica, appreciate the fishing report. Like I said, um, fishing over there in Chaz has been uh, blowing up. Yep. Might have to start moving a little further south, you know. It's just the same as so far to drive the boat from the plantation to Chaz. I'm not taking my boat anywhere near there <laughs> for fear it may alleviate the bottom end of my motor. You've got the Florida Marine tracks. Great. So what? Still not taking any chances. Don't be scared. I'm scared. Dude. I love my motor. Dude, you got to know what your boat can do. Okay. You know, look I at me. Two weeks boat. in, I blew mine yeah, up just yeah, to show yeah, that yeah, I can do it, John. you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> you know what? I hadn't done it again, prove, though. Yeah. Just to prove I can do it, I got it out of the way quick. <laughs> I needed to know yep, that. That's right. I need six, yep. not five. I can't you know? go there. <laughs> I, I, need, I need six inches of water. That's right. You know, I know five. it now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ah, well, John, as you're well aware, we do this thing called the belt. And again, it's making our tailors famous, you it know, is. bringing them yep. up, showing Bragging them uh, all kind of good things. Yep. And uh, the belt, our current winner, which is four time four time champion, national champion. Yeah, right here. <laughs> four time national champion. Is Tyler. Last month's yep. fish was the triple tail. He uh won with a twenty one inch triple tail. So uh you'll be looking at his picture the rest of the month because he was last month's champion, John. But this month we're looking for Kobe. Did you know that we have single handedly stopped what people call long arming by doing this belt? We've stopped it. Yes, because we, we not put only the brakes on. not only do they have to show us the picture of the fish, but yeah. they also have to put it on a stick. Mm. Uh. See, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Killing long arms. Fish stories yep. kind of yep. come to a halt we, when we have them. proof yep. of how That's long right. they are. We're yeah. killing long arm stories by <laughs> leaps and bounds now. See, we're here for everybody. Yep, yep. So, so this month. Is the Cobia. Oh, boy. And if you want to participate, John, and this is the first time you've ever yep. seen this show, how do you participate? All you got to do is take a picture of your Cobia because everybody loves to take a picture of the fish, so you yes, do that. You do. Then you have to put it on a stick to make sure that it's 33 inches to the fork inshore and 37 inches to the fork offshore, and which is fixing to change, I heard, but not yet, but it's coming. It's going <laughs> to be that everywhere, but um, that's a big fish. So make sure you have a big enough loss stick because you don't want to get pulled over by the FWC because once once you've got a short fish, things change real quick. Like oh, yeah. other things start to fall into bad places. So just don't break the law. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then you can be pictured down here at Captain's Cove for bragging rights on our wonderful board that Eric built and our beautiful belt that John got that says World Wrestling Federation. 
WWE fishmonger on it. Yeah, man. Says something like that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it does have Weeby Tailing on yeah, there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weeby Tailing, champion. There you go. Well, Jamie says, Flounder Show question mark. Well, Jamie, uh, you're about three episodes late, two episodes yep. late. If you we go just, back and yeah, watch one just, of our episodes, we talked about the Flounder. Yep, yeah, just, just a yep. few episodes ago. So uh, you, you can tune back in, uh, go back on YouTube and check out uh, the older one there. So but I will there. tell you this, Flounder love a jig head and a shrimp and a bump, bump, stop. A bump, bump, stop. And then there's a slow drag on that. When that happens, do like Eric said, hit that hook because there he is. It's a whole nother field, but that's a quick lesson for you. Hoop, bump, bump, stop, boom, is. flounder. Got him. Uh, Fishing next rocks, to sand and rocky rocks, bottom. Rocks yep. with sand rocks and bottom. Rocks and sand bottom right next to each other because that's where they hang out. And they're aggressive. They're very aggressive eaters, believe it or not. They sit they there are. and they look up the whole time. That's why both eyes are on the top side because yeah. they're watching just anything that moves that comes by them and they eat. Well, John, the fish this month is cobia. Yep. Unless you got some some pictures, I did not get sent any pictures. No. 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 I don't know if people just aren't catching cobia. I don't know. We've had a weird weather week, and they might. I mean, they're migrating fish, so our migration started a little early this year. People mm. may have missed them because they were still out catching other kind of fish, and then cobia may have trickled by. I don't know. It's get you know who knows. There's there's some people out there catching a lot of them, and there's people not catching them. So. Hmm. Mm. There's, mm. there's, mm. there, there be cobia out there. Oh, I they're tell out you. there, they're out there. But you, <laughs> there really be gotta, cobia. You really got to fish for them, and, and we're gonna talk about it. That's right. We're <laughs> gonna tell you how to catch a cobia. <laughs> Man, had a cobia so big, follow a grunt in. I thought it was a shark and snatched it away. Oh, oh Brian, oh. no, oh. <laughs> no. Me too have had this happen, and it is no. a sad day. <laughs> but with a fish that big, though, when they're that big, you almost need a gun because those things are brutal. They are. And, I mean, if you don't have if, – if you've got kids on the boat or you don't have a way to long gaff that sucker and then stick to in him and throw him up over the thing and just let him go and everybody jump back, mm. them 60, 70, 80, 90-pound cobia are beast. That they are. Beast. That they are. Dangerous fish. So send us a cobia. Yep, send us a cobia Information picture. goes to the same place. You can do it. <laughs> you <laughs> you know? can you do go. it. So, uh, yeah, because right now, the yeah, f- yeah, I mean. Send him a cobia and sign that piece of paper, and eat. you can win a rod and reel combo package. Even a little one yeah. right now gets you on the board. That's right. <laughs> Just a little cobia. <laughs> you can't keep it, but you can take a picture of it and put it on a stick and show it's it 20 inches long. Yep, yeah, there you go. All Try right. one of them remorse. Who knows? Might slip it by. All right, John. It's time to talk about Bonnie. Bonnie. With State Farm. Bonnie and Doug, they did a real special thing for us, uh, you know, this last little uh, weekend right here with the uh, Spring Fling, and, and we really do appreciate them, and we want you to appreciate them as well by giving Bonnie a call at 352-484-0905 to get your insurance quote from her or any one of her team members there. Um Lots of our tailors are saving money. That's right. They're and waiting on your call to save money. They, yeah. As John always says, call it right now. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, not now. Right. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow. You know, from like 9 yep, till 5 yep. probably. Somewhere in that neighborhood. But uh, <laughs> we, we could feel good. Almost use the word guarantee, which yeah. I hate to throw that uh, word out use there. use the word guarantee. But, but, but I feel really good that she's going to be able to save you some we're money. We're 90% positive she's yeah. probably going to help you out. <laughs> there you go. There are those ones that already have State Farm, you know, that that works. But but if you don't, give her a call. There we go. So, Blazing, we appreciate it. New subscriber right there. Blazing Bulba. I, I might not be saying that right because it's a little bit small, small on, my on my screen, screen. but <laughs> we sure do appreciate it. Thank you there. Um, man, as a matter of fact, everybody hit that subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> it helps us out, helps the show, and uh, just progresses what we do. And if you enjoy this kind of content, which... Uh, think most of you do uh it's kind of local but we're looking to we're gonna broaden our it. horizons here in the new future so uh you know go on with it <laughs> so so john bonnie with state farm sponsors our show by giving us things or donating things that um we kind of give away during a contest Monthly. and this go around she has given up the big old calcutta bait bucket right here complete with the bubbler 
And, uh, you know, you got the little top, you put your little shrimp in there, you know, whatever the case might be. But, wait, there's more. There's stuff in here. There's always more. Oh, man, there's quite a bit. So we got, we got some uh, fish, fish grips grippers there. American, too. Looks like we got a, a Dexter fillet knife. Uh-huh. We got one of these uh, nomad no, the new, uh, yeah. lures that I've heard a whole lot about. Those things are fish catching <laughs> machines. And some Shimano needle nose pliers nice. right there. So lots of goodies on the on the plate this month from Bonnie with State Farm. Those needle nose pliers will help pick the noses, the <laughs> nose hairs out of your nose. <laughs> they will. You'll you'll cry a little bit, but you know, it'll get it done. So I'm getting old, John, and you know, and the hair on the head's a little loose, and you know, even this doesn't grow anymore. It it doesn't grow any longer than this, but. But hair out of my ears, hair out of my I nose. I know. What is up with that? Underarm. You can yeah. braid it for days. I got to keep that cut. What why the Why does the hair grow yeah. in your ear? Yeah. I don't need to hear air. I, why? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> I pull them. It's like, what the heck is that? Where did that yeah. come from? Ah! I could have I could have combed that over. Yeah, now, yeah that's a cat. I've got here. Oh God. Oh man. Uh, oh, oh. I'd have to stop you for that. I, I'm sorry. I'd have to clip those for you. We're not doing that. I'm lucky. To, I'm lucky. I have hair. So I have guys tell me all the time how lucky I am. But yeah, I need yeah. a haircut. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's funny. Oh man. T TMI, Eric. Oh, ooh. the old comb over. Can we still do tips on here? If so, how do we do it? Yes, Jessica, you can still do tips. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I always love that question. <laughs> how so. do you do a tip? <laughs> oh, She's Lord. got a tip for you. There Don't you let your yep. ear go out your ear and comb it over on your hair. That's what she was talking about. That's right. <laughs> that so, was the tip she was giving. So if you are watching us on the computer, uh, you know, you can under where it says details and It'll always show more. You click on show more. That's where you can glimpse it. All the sponsors that support the show, all their links are there. And there's also a link right there that goes to, uh, I think it says stream lab tipping or so. It says something. If you appreciate the show, you could click right here. And uh, it takes you to like a PayPal thing where you, there's denominal or nominations, not nominal denomination, denote. What's the word I'm looking for, John? Denomination. Denomination. Thank you. I was trying to put too many words together there. And uh, you just click and boom, and it goes to an account. And uh, we're using all that money to progress our upcoming YouTube channel that will be produced videos. So, um, you know, we're, and we're going to get into that as soon as we're done talking yep. about Bonnie right here. So that's cool. But, uh, yeah, that, that's how you do it. So um, at the in the details part of the show, click show more. It'll be down there. You click on that link. Uh, if you do it while the show's live, you get the golden grouper spinning around, and uh, it makes a big deal. So that's pretty awesome. So, <laughs> but Rich was the last one tipped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and, and, if you, and if you, Rich, Rich has been up there on the bottom of the marquee there yeah, for a while. If you do over five thousand dollars, you get a free fishing trip. I'll make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it there for a minute, and I'm like, you know what? Yes! Did he say yeah. $50 or $5,000? <laughs> that's, that's a joke. I'm joking. <laughs> you may be joking, but we're going fishing if you donate that kind of money. Wow. <laughs> you get to ride in the front of the that's boat. That's right. <laughs> well, screw that. You get to ride next to me. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my ear hair will blow in the wind <laughs> on you. <laughs> oh, that's funny stuff. <laughs> there we go. So, John, oh, where were we at? We were talking that's about wrong. Bonnie. That's Bonnie, wrong. we're sorry that we got off topic. Yeah, we got with, off topic on hair. <laughs> but what are we going to do? We're going to go back to memes, John. So we want to see your funny fishing memes that you create or you edit a little bit to make it your own anyway. Uh, and basically, you'll do like you do everything else. You're going to send it to Captain Eric Hasty at gmail.com, Shasty McNasty Fishing at Facebook, or text it to 352-220-3206. Uh, and we're just going to do the meme and put them in a hat and then draw if you do a meme? No, no, no. We're voting. We're voting. We're voting. We're, we're voting. We're voting. We're voting. Vote, voting's where it's at. No, Bobby right. did not like <laughs> the put the name in a hat. You no. Because, you know, Bobby puts a lot of effort into his memes. He made one. He didn't even make one last time. Yeah. But. What? But. What? <laughs> he wants to vote, so we're oh, gonna have to vote. Yes. Okay. He wants to vote. Okay. All right. He's he a he, voter. Well, no, he wants to, you know, he doesn't. 
he put so much effort into his meme, he didn't want to leave it up to luck. You know, he, uh, he wants, my meme is good. I know they'll vote for it. I you know, got that kind of the thing. meme. Yes. I got the <laughs> meme. So next week, we'll, uh, we'll show all the plethora of memes that you guys are going to send us. We'll show them on next week's show, and then we'll tell you how to vote for them. So it's always a good time. Oh, I there's probably, it, now that you say that, Bobby does probably have a pretty good meme he, he can make. He, Bobby makes good memes. That's what, he, no, he he's, does. there's probably one that he could do that we talked about the other night that would be uh -oh. kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's Bo one. Bonnie even says memes yeah. are fun. Oh, they are fun. See, memes Bobby even he put it in text. Yeah. I don't want to win by chance. I got ah, skills, yeah, he says. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking that there's a meme out there for Bobby yeah. that would be very good, and I think it might have like a puffer in it yep there we go see Susie likes the competitiveness of it that's a fun word to say i, I think Susie <laughs> likes the puffer part of the meme too so yeah i think there's a meme there guys i think i think bobby and Susie could get together and make yep. us a hell of a puffer meme puffer yep smooth puffer porcupine puffer what other puffer what there's the other one what's the other what are they what is the names of well, the rabbit fish is the that rabbit giant fish is puffer the smooth with puffer. the smooth one. Yeah. yeah. Then what's the one called that's not the porcupine puffer? There's the one in the, the middle. The little golden one? Yeah, the golden. The is gold. that just a golden puffer? What the heck is that? Because they eat those. Yeah. They don't give you the foo gung gal poisoning. But foo gung gal poisoning. You need yeah. them oriental puffers that's to get the that stuff. Yeah, the yeah. oriental puffer key. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. the, the, the crab plant serves that's a right. nice yeah, there's, puffer basket. Evidently, yeah. evidently, our puffer ain't poisonous because... You can eat them at the crab plant, and I've eaten them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. They good. Let's see. All right. <laughs> I just can't and don't by chance. That's right. <laughs> His son is watching. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I didn't say anything bad. I'm not a fish. <laughs> okay. What's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez. So there you go. So again, create or modify a current one to make it your own. We don't want to see the one that's been plastered yeah, all over the not, place not a, and all that good not stuff. Not something else somebody made. And uh, we will have people call you out on that if they've seen it anywhere else. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, uh, you know, we want to. Uh, and it's easy to, to make them somebody. because there's a meme maker online that you can download on your phone that can make anything into a meme for you. Yep. So it'll do the work for you. All you got to do is add your text and it, boom, there's your meme. Just like that. Just like that. You can Easy do it yourself yep. by typing it in, but there's a meme maker. It's just called meme maker. It's downloadable, easy to peasy, and you've got a meme. Boom. Easy peasy yep. and, and brought you to you win by Bonnie with, with State, State Farm. Farm. Yeah, and you can win a <laughs> kick butt. There's a lot of stuff right there. $100 with stuff right there. Oh, boom, the golden grouper. Did you see it, John? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. Tyler just donated $25 to the cause. Thank you, buddy. Are you drinking again? <laughs> <laughs> if he Stop is, that. it's going to keep popping yep. up. Oh, yeah, Last it'll keep going. Drinking. One, 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 he's not drinking. But if he does a second one, he's drinking. <laughs> he better stop that because he quit. <laughs> <laughs> he decided crown was that his was friend just, again. That was a Sprite. That was a Sprite. If he does it again, that's a crown. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tyler. We appreciate it. <laughs> Oh man, man, we, uh, we we can't we can't share all of Tyler's information with you, but but Tyler got to meet some cool people today. Oh and we man, can't, we Did can't talk, about, we can't all that. talk yeah, about it. But, but, but holy was, yeah, mackerel, that, he he's got a cool gig. Yeah, you know, he gets to meet some famous people sometimes, yeah. and that's, that is that's pretty, pretty neat. neat. Yep, that, yeah. that's we neat. won't talk about it, but that was yep. pretty cool. Yeah. No, that was, that was <laughs> After awesome. you said, I was like, yeah. "Wow, that, that's pretty cool." <laughs> <laughs> What's Eric said? Eric knows who that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, it's great. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Eric nailed it. I mean, that that just goes to show you. As soon as he said it, Eric's like, "Oh, I, 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 I like, yeah, damn, I, 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 no, damn." <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. All right, John, let's get into it here. So the spring fling uh, was this past Saturday night there at the plantation. And we had good representation from everywhere. I mean, we had people coming from up north that just came down. We had um, people that made the trip from Yankee Town that had never been to the plantation before that uh, were like, man, this is nice. We're like, yep, they yeah. liked it there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we know. That's <laughs> right. Know? We've been trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we had people from down south come up north, yep. uh, you know, as far as Tampa, they came to see us, um, you know, uh, you know, so um, we had some fun. Yep. It, it, it was a good time. Now, uh, Again, we uh, we had 
Captain DJ Susie B extraordinaire. Yep. Uh, trophy, soon to be trophy, trophy DJ, wife, trophy wife, uh, you trophy know, DJ. Uh, working the turntables yep. there. Uh, there was a wedding going off in the corner. Apparently, they came and asked us to turn our music down because our music was better than and what theirs. Their, theirs was playing. So, you know? do you so know what funny. kind of compliment that is that, to that be is standing like, there <laughs> and be told that from another DJ to say, yeah. "Hey, can you turn your stuff down? Your music's better than mine." Yeah, yeah. What do you take that as? Yeah. Was, like, do you go? Uh, no, <laughs> or do you go, okay, I'll play some, uh... Susie just took it from you know, 11 back down to 10. I know, you know yeah. <laughs> so she bumped it down, but, 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 but what, how do you take that? Yeah. You know, Susie's playing great music, and I, my music sucks, so I'm gonna go tell this DJ that you need to tone it down. What, what? <laughs> Tune down for what? Yeah, tone down <laughs> for who? <laughs> I think that was like a major compliment from somebody like that. Boom, another golden group for John. <laughs> what the heck? That one Tyler, was it? Uh, it says anonymous. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. You've got a special I, admirer. I hope, I hope he's not into the secondary thing as Sprite. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have to refund the money. <laughs> anonymous. Oh, oh, no. That's funny. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh, no. Oh, uh. Oh God, that's uh, like I said. That yeah. that's uh, that's, that's funny. funny. But no, we yeah. we we had a good time. And let's take a uh, let's take a look here. So we we got a we few. We got some photos. Well, we 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 got quite a few photos, and we had to put some of these photos. To, well, we put a lot of these photos together just so we yeah. could get through them all there. But uh, we had um, you know these are a lot of pictures of us. That's some doing some raffling right there. That is uh, you know more raffle get give you what good. <laughs> giveaway goodies right there so a lot of these were uh right off the bat some of the raffle shots there like i said speaking of tyler there's tyler tyler got more ty uh, aquatic nutrition and he knows what to do with it right there did, 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 them redfish <laughs> better watch out because tyler's got chum yeah there we go this, this little kid right here i was so happy he won i he just said the little kid was running to the stage with uh, that did, little blonde uh, did you say carrot top yeah, and I, uh, cotton top. Cotton top. Cotton top. Because he, he, he had like a perm. Like, I was like, you know, his curly hair. Yeah, yeah, I thought you said carrot top. I was like, his <laughs> hair ain't red. There we go. We're getting into uh, some of the, the the charters right there. Black dog charter with his uh, his giveaway there, and a, and a plantation trip, and uh, Carrie's custom rods giveaway there. That uh, with the dip net. It's kind of funny, but the yep. people that wanted to win the awards won a lot of the prizes they were seeking. They did, which they was did. really cool. Yeah. So that. Uh, there's uh, speaking of Bobby, there there's Bobby collecting his uh, his prize for uh, <laughs> what a hell of a contest there. What is John doing? Don, John's sipping from the jar. Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> there we go. Some more some more picks right there, and uh, you know as the evening progress, you know some more. There, look at old high happy Bonnie right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now John, you're gonna have to explain what is going on in this photo right here. Um, okay, so. <laughs> and, and why is Bobby so good at doing what he was doing, collecting I, I, a prize? I don't know, but, uh, so. No, oh, we got a golden grouper while we were gone. No way. James! So, so, so back, back at Live Oak Stud Horse Farm, I, I, I lived on a horse farm, and, and really, when you live on a horse farm, you don't get to go anywhere. You don't get to do anything, and a lot of the fun is made by the people on the horse farm. So we would have parties and we had this game called bum darts. <laughs> now, this is not my name. I have no idea where the name come down, but but your bum is your bum, meaning your butt. Okay, so you butt take darts. a quarter, you put it between your two cheeks and you eat, 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 walk with it, holding the quarter and drop it in a cup. What well, was a drinking game? If you missed the cup, you had to drink a shot or a beer. So we would get pretty drunk because nobody could hit the darn thing. Well, I told Derek about the game and we started playing it at a past spring fling we had <laughs> at the Blackwater. And, and it John- It went over very well. Let's just say that John is very good at this game. You do not want it because I've done it twice <laughs> as a, uh, just to show people how to do it. And I've nailed it both times. Yep. I, I don't miss. Um, <laughs> I, I got very good very at that talented. when I was younger. I'm very talented. I, I'm not proud of this. And by no means, this is not a, uh, what you would call an achievement award, yeah. but, uh, I'm pretty dang good at it. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, we played the game and it came down to Donna 
and Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, they, they were the two Donna, finalists. Donna's coin hit the cup and bounced to the side of it. Yeah. Bobby's nailed it, and Bobby ended up winning the grand prize. The no, grand no, no. This prize. Is, this is after they had hit the yep. cup several times. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they, no, won they, their, they won their levels they won to their win levels up to the championship. Yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah. they got good. They, they are now what I would call... Good bum darts players. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's something to be proud of, but they are now good bum dart players. <laughs> yep. Dale's calling it butt cheek bingo. Butt cheek bingo. That sounds great. <laughs> Bungholio darts. <laughs> so so we, we have a lot of fun playing bum darts. Well, we had a lot of fun at the shindig last uh, go round uh, there at uh, the Blackwater, and we carried it over to here, yeah. and it was an opportunity to give away some free freebies because everybody that participated won some prizes. Yep, we gave everybody a prize. Um, we had so many, some, uh, several people had so much fun doing it, they, they, they did, did it again. different rounds, yeah, they, you know, they, just, they, uh, just uh, you know, to try to get to the grand prize, which uh, <laughs> which was a uh, uh, plantation hat, lots of Jim's yep. jigs, some uh, uh, Little John's yep. uh, from uh, Miralore, uh, just, yeah, it was a nice little, stuff. Yeah, it was a nice little <laughs> compilation prize right there. So, uh, Bobby, congratulations on being talented the bum enough dart champion yeah. now i guess i'm gonna have to get bobby a belt champion <laughs> bum dart specialist bobby okay. proxima <laughs> so so again um susie was so proud of him she was she was <laughs> again this this event all proceeds went to help us go forward with uh doing some produced type videos uh in the future here with uh being john and i out on the boat and um not only did we do well with the raffles um bonnie made a presentation where she donated uh some money to us and passed around a bucket and, yep. and that was very thoughtful thank you very much for that and again thank you to everybody that showed up and helped us with that thank you very much to all our sponsors that yep. donated Support to our make sponsors. this sponsor yep. you know that, that made this happen everybody and, we have as a sponsor is all good people they all try yeah. real hard to give you quality product yep. i mean everything that we have is it's no junk Every, yep. everything is good it is yep. it is good and, stuff everything works or and, we wouldn't have it and, and john john will tell you you know he is pretty emotional john john will get worked up over anything get a little teary-eyed I'm kind of the stone, and then there were some folks trying to make us cry the other night. They were working on him. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, the rock. you know, not not only just everybody's support there, and then Bonnie doing what she did. Um, Taylor's, Dale and Denise, they they presented me with a with a gift. Yeah, and, that was and cool. And I thought that that was very very thoughtful, and it was a, a life ring that apparently Denise had, or maybe it was her lifeguard ring something yep. somehow or somehow another was somehow special was connected to them, to them. Yep. and they had screen printed on it you know yep. captain eric hasty shasty mcnasty fishing on it and, and i thought that was uh that was wild that was very yeah. and they special. presented you yeah that. and they presented yeah. that to that's me very that cool was, stuff uh, that was cool so yeah. taylor's we, we got cool taylor's and um like i said that's uh you know, they were trying. All our they, people, they, they yeah. were trying. They tried John. to I mean, get I was, a tear. Eric uh, was right uh, yeah. there. <laughs> Had I kicked so. you in the nuts, you probably would have cried. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> I should have done it. I should have done it. <laughs> so, again, uh, thank you uh, for all of that. Um, these parties that we put on, they are for you guys. We always ask, do you guys want us to do us? And you, you know, always are yes, 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 yes. So uh, we appreciate that. You know. immensely you yes. know so uh thank you for everything that you do without you guys we don't have the show and yeah. um you know thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> all right john let's hear another word right here from one of our another sponsors <laughs> here we go oh uh, where is there's the right button <laughs> All right, so going on live right now, Salt Life has teamed up with Fishing Chaos to put on a virtual fishing tournament. 
Uh, there is a link in the description of the show where you could turn, uh, basically click on that link and sign up. This tournament is going on. It is a virtual tournament. I know that several of our uh, tailors are signed up in it now. Uh, I, I haven't got a report on how they're doing, but uh, they are signed up for it. It'd be great if you signed up and somebody from the Nature Coach Wouldn't that did be cool? win. Like that would Jessica be Jessica won awesome. something on yep. that? That yep. would be so awesome. So, uh, you know, there's a spot where you sign up says, how did you hear it? Put either Captain Eric Hasty, Shasty McNasty Fishing, or Weeby Tailing, something that identifies where you heard it um, or where you got the information from. Um, pretty neat, uh, pretty neat little, you know, yeah, deep. I mean, like I said, giving away it's stuff virtual. again. Yeah, yeah. so uh, they're giving away stuff. There's a redfish, trout, and flounder. I think. I think in bass, right? And then, uh, and then this, then the largemouth bass. bass yeah. You know, you know that those uh, those are the topics right there. Those are what's going on. You know, or that's what you can compete in. So, um, sign up. It's yeah. cool. Uh, and as usual, what we've been doing with this salt like thing is we've been giving away a free code for twenty percent off. One time use. One time use. So one one person, one person gets to gets use it. this code right here. C C two zero P U six I K U. Do you think they follow what we do because we did bub darts and they put in there B U? <laughs> <laughs> you think they follow what we do and give us a code? Well, there you go. So <laughs> so use that code. Like I said, for whoever gets to use it first, it's it's finders keepers. So that's twenty yep. percent off, off at the Salt whole Life. Order saltlife.com that's 20 percent off your whole order right there and uh if you are using these codes let us know in the comments you know because uh they gave those codes to me to to give away and i and i hope that you're using them because if you guys aren't using them you know hell i'm gonna stockpile them and get 20 percent yeah <laughs> yeah you know what's funny is there's nothing like seeing a truck driving down in arkansas with a salt life sticker on the back Oh, yeah. Living the dream. They got all that salt water. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> uh, all right, John, let's get to some fishing trips here real quick. You did uh, you 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 did Sunday, right? Yep. Let's see. So there it is. John's Sunday trip right there. So so speaking of flounder, I know yep. John could catch some. <laughs> I was on him. Had Missy got her. Missy had a slam right off the bat. Missy had a slam within one hour of fishing. Cause that was mother's day so we had to be back quick so we didn't get long to fish yeah so we went in there and missy caught a trout on her first cast a red or a snook on her third cast and a red on um in the middle and then i was catching all the flounder and i was hoping she'd catch flounder because she'd have had a super slam then but yeah. she got the slam quick slam yeah and then uh i Took the old Saturday and Sunday off for the spring yep, fling. Yep. <laughs> I knew Saturday was going to be a setup day, and I knew Sunday was going to be a let's Relaxing call it a catch up day. day. Yeah. <laughs> catch up day. You had to get your shine on. Shine well, off. Well, well, I, I shine I, off. I, shine on. It had to be shined off. Shined I think off. on. Yep. Uh, on <laughs> One of our tailors had to get his shine off. Happy birthday to him, by the way. <laughs> it's his birthday too. Well, it was. Oh. That's, is that why? It, yeah. Because uh, yeah. all I seen was uh, him laying in the in, bed, in bed like with, this. Yeah, so, <laughs> what, what, with the comment, one more sip, I think is what, uh, what, is what she titled that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Well, I think it got him. There you it go. always gets at least one daily. <laughs> That's all I've heard. <laughs> And then, John, I, oh, I did make it man. out a couple of times. We did some Cobia some fishing Cobias. right there. So uh, prior to contrary belief, Cobia do are exist. still out there. They do they, exist. Uh, they they are migratory, and we are going to talk about that, but they are still out yep. there. So you can <laughs> still, still there. You can still get some Cobia. That's, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> the old ling. The, 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 the ling, the lemon fish. The lemon fish. You know, and How many do they have? A lot. Three, three that I know of. Yeah. Those if anybody else sure. knows, enough, I know it's the brown bomber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ling, the cobia. Uh -huh. What else did you say? Lemon fish. Lemon fish. That's four. No. Um, and I think there's there's a couple more that I'm missing. So if you know of any, throw it in the comments. Yeah. Because there's quite a few names that they name the cobia. All right. Oh, now hold on. We, we got some comments here, John. Jessica says she is. In ninth place for Reds right now. Oh wow, that's yeah. hey, that's pretty amazing. And uh, 10th for trout and 9th for flounder. Is that wow. right? Wow. Oh, that's why she had that flounder. Okay. Ah, cool. nice. There you go. And I know Jessica knows how to catch a ditch pickle, so she should yeah. be able to have a bass too there. Wow. 
Let's see. That day, all I needed was a snooker tarpon, and I would have had a grand slam. Yeah. Awesome. There nice. we go. <laughs> I have a daughter in Arkansas that sports her Salt Life apparel. Believe it. See? <laughs> Bam! I told you. That I knew exactly where to go to. Arkansas. Hey, Arkansas. And, and then we got man in the brown suit. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. The man in the brown suit. Yep. The yep. brown yep. bomber. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. so there you go. So they are out there, um, you know, for sure. Um, I was messaging a guy today that had a bunch of questions about Cobia. And and I tell you what, let's 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 get through spotted by here real quick, and then we'll just get yeah, into we'll the topic into it, right yeah. there. Yeah. So uh, spotted by, where are we at? Before we do that, John, Nature Coast PM. Oh no, the picture went away. But uh, <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to dig that back up again. But Nature Coast PM, um, they are a service here that they do uh, basically property management. They'll uh, they'll do work from your roof to your sewer system. I just saw on uh, Facebook today that they were doing a deck on somebody's house that uh, looked fantastic. So uh, reach out to uh, Frank. Uh, his number is in all the past episodes right there. So uh, you can look it up for whatever reason. Uh, it, it, it wasn't where it needed to be. And my bad, Frank, will uh, definitely get you on next week's show to get that fixed. But, uh, yeah, give uh, look it up. Give them a call. They're doing all kind of good work. Uh, they've donated uh, a couple of shirts. We'll uh, we'll be given a shirt in the closest size we have to your size left yep. anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So spotted by John. We spotted Bobby. Anytime you got a Weeby Taylor shirt on in you the picture, noticed. you know, you're going to get quickly, spotted. Yeah. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> there we go. We what kind of shark is that? Uh, it was a shark. What kind? <laughs> Just a shark? Shark, shark? I don't know. Let's, uh, uh, what is that? Not a black tip? or uh, I can't tell. It's a hard to, it's hard hard to tell. tell. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a bull? Uh, it's a little skinny for a bull, but mm. I don't know. That's, yeah. uh, Maybe yeah. a black tip. Yeah. So, But we got James Ooh, right there nice with red. a beast. Look, look at the fat rolling oh, over his hands Ooh, right there. Nice that red. is a nice that's red. A, that's a back country in the uh, creek red. That's that, a beautiful red. Nice fish, James. Yep. Good job. And uh, and thanks for the, the the golden grouper earlier. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> then we spotted Michael. Michael, come all the way up from the Tampa area to come see us for the spring fling. So Ooh, we that's uh, a AJ. He, yep, yeah, he, that, that's a fun size. The old reef donkey right yep. there. So man, those pull on it. They they do. Yep. That that's more work than I'm willing to, to give up right there. <laughs> yeah, they that's pull. For sure. Yeah. Oh, ma man. Maybe Bobby's gonna tell you what kind of shark that was yep, right here. See. I see a big comment just uh, came up. I haven't won a meme, Don. I wish I had. Been a few oh, good ones. No. <laughs> not, not, the, not the shark. I thought Bobby was going to tell us what kind of shark mm. that was. <laughs> back on the memes. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> He's already scheming his meme. <laughs> Scheme a meme. <laughs> there we go. All right, John. So, uh, topic time. Cobia. So, as of today, today, Cobia are still in state waters. Two per vessel. That's right. Just two total. Two per vessel. You cannot have three. No. Two per vessel. Pay close attention to that. I don't 30, care if you got five people on the boat. 33 inches to the fork. Now, a lot of people don't know about that two fish rule. <laughs> two. Uh -huh. We're talking state. state. The state of Florida. State. Here in the Gulf. Yeah. That's less than nine, nine miles. miles. <laughs> state waters. Be careful. Federal is different. Um, then we're not going to talk about federal because we're fishing in state we're waters. state. This is Florida. <laughs> state. <laughs> now, that is going to be subject to change yep, maybe in July. Yeah, it's but, coming. You know, as of today. 33. To the Those board. are the stipulations. That is yeah. not an overall fish. You must yep. measure the fish. To the fork. Fork means here, yes. not here. That's it totally. Means yeah. here. The fork. Here. Yep. Do not keep a short cobia. You nope. want to see trouble and flame fire from a fingertips of an FWC <laughs> officer. Pull up with a short cobia and see what happens. You don't want to be involved in this deal, I promise you. I I will tell you, FWC, they they're out. They're, they're out there and, and they're they're looking at cobia. <laughs> the the two times that I've only had the 33 inch to the fort. Yep coming in they were and there i've only had two that were 33 inches to the fort and they both got measured both of them 
<laughs> we, we got stopped by the men. Yeah. And I, all the other trips, they're nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. But on that trip, <laughs> on both of those trips, <laughs> Bingo. One, one of them was just uh, Monday. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know, think they have Tuesday, a sniffer? Yesterday. Yeah. You think they've got a sniffer or something to go? That that, that looks like there's a Kobe oh. on that boat. I, I was coming in the mouth of the river, and, I, and I saw the gray boat. And you knew and it. And I was like, <laughs> He's but it's got me. three people on it. I said, no, that won't be FWC. And sure then I got enough. closer, and I said, it is FWC, and it's, and it's got day. three people on it. Training I said, day. that's training day. We're for sure going to get stopped. Yep. And uh, <laughs> and my fish had already been on ice for a little yeah. bit and everything. Ugh. I had to bend it out yeah. and do whatever, and, and we got it on the stick, and, and they were happy with it. But yeah. I was Ugh. I was sweating bullets. Ugh. I was like, oh, Ugh. my goodness. <laughs> Whew. But yeah, so they they are looking. So thirty three to the fork, as John yep. said. Fork here, not not total yeah, all the way out not, to here. Not it's total to the fork. Yeah, be so. very careful. I mean, I'm telling you guys, no. you have no idea the trouble cometh your way because once you get that short fish in the boat, then you're gonna get oh, checked for every yeah, yeah. single thing you could do wrong is going down with that yeah. cobia. Oh, so yeah. just don't do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't want to. Yeah. You don't want to play. Yeah. As don't Brian play says right there, homie, don't play that. Yeah, that's right. Don't <laughs> play the game. <laughs> it's not worth it. There you it's go. just not worth it. So cobia are migratory. Yep. They're police. They move. They are not always here. Maybe, maybe once in a blue moon, you'll catch one out of when they're not supposed to be here. But for yep. the most part, they're coming through our area. They're coming from down south. They're heading north right now to spawn. Yep. So. We start to see them generally the last part of April into the full month of May, and sometimes a little bit after some yep. stragglers in June. Um, you may find them a little bit later, further offshore, yep. federal waters or whatever, but for us here for in us, the shallow yeah. nine miles or less state waters, that's typically their pattern. Now, I was talking with a gentleman today that says, I don't get it. I've been catching them regular down south home of Sassaway, but now I might only get one, and I'm like, these fish move. They, they, you know, try to move, look, go further north. Yeah, but I was catching them in home. Yeah. These fish are migrating. They're not they don't always hang out. there. They're, yeah. These fish move. So I'm not saying you won't catch any more in home. Assassin. There's plenty of them still making their still pass moving. by. But these fish are moving north, you know. So um, if you're going cobia fishing and you're not having any luck where you're at, you know, my move. opinion would be move north. These fish are going from south to north. They're moving up into the panhandle, the yep. Destin they area, Panama Destin. City Beach. They're going to spawn up there. They're going to go yep. make little cobia, lemon fish, ling babies. Ling, brown you know, bummers, so brown they're suits. Doing, yeah, they're, they're doing, doing it They're up doing there. what they're doing. So yep. um, the fish are here. The f what, what a cobia like, John? So like anything else? Structure. Yeah, they like structure. You, you'll rarely a find wreck, them in the wide a open. Huge yeah. ledge, um, markers. They they like markers. They they do swim in the open, but again, to get they're, from point A to point yeah, B. Yeah, they're a fish that realizes that a shark will eat you if you're in the open. So they're not really gonna just per se hang out in the open. It's yeah. any fish is scared to death of birds, and any fish is scared to death of sharks. So, you know, dolphin will play with them if they get out of line and they get in the wrong place. A dolphin will knock one out. But they just, that's the way they are. They, they, they love markers, wrecks, ledges, big rock piles. That's what they like. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so Simon says on here he's just recently moved to this area, but the reports from Destin have been stacked the past week. See, so, that's, I mean, they're, they're already making they're, their way up they're, there. They're, they're finding their way yep. up there. So, yep. I mean, this year they kind of hit us a little bit early, early. you know I think so they, they were, were a little early i think that some of yeah. these fish had moved through in march when the winds were blowing and people weren't out there and they were catching other fish yeah. those cobia were already easing by yeah. just we've had we didn't have a strong winter it was a little warmer they can make their migratory a little quicker and i'm telling you cobia love destin just like i like to visit destin cobia are like for some reason they love that beach up there there's a lot it's of pretty. deep water off of their beach. <laughs> so those cobia can go inshore, only be three miles from the shore and be in 100 foot of water. So they love yeah. that. That's their favorite place. Now, I will tell you, I've caught a fair share of keeper cobia over the last week and a half, two weeks. Yep, you've done very well. Um, live bait has really not been where it's at. They've been eating the dead bait. Um, if you're throwing your pinfish, 
Uh, anything along that line, the hair, you know, the live hair. If you're yeah. throwing anything live. Grouper. I mean, unless it's right in front of them, they've come yeah. up next to the boat and you drop it in front of them, yeah. you know, they may eat that. But, yeah, everything's bitten, getting tailed by the grouper. Grouper, yeah, grouper. are eating Sharks all your live grouper. bait. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, which which is a great thing. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, you know, grouper opens up it. next month. Yeah, <laughs> you know, nothing but, wrong with it. <laughs> but, uh, frozen herring. They love herring. Cut herring. Cir- circle mm. hook and a knocker rig on yep. the bottom. You know, just throwing it close to the structure. Not on top of the structure. Close to the structure has worked out really well for me. I've only caught one that wasn't in that situation, and it was a cobia that came up to the boat. He would not eat anything that we put in front of him. I finally loaded a Jim's jig with a, a big live shrimp on it Penny and dropped it. As soon as yeah. it hit the water, he goes that, and, yeah. and it was on. I handed the rod to the client, and, and they had a blast. A so. lot of times, they love shrimp. I, yeah. I tell you, they'll eat a shrimp over a live mullet or a live pinfish. So. You'll be surprised. Um, uh, uh, Kobe will knock crap out of shrimp. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, he, he did. He did, yeah. But but um, if you want cobia, you got to either invest in a lot of chum or make your own chum, you know, whatever the case might be. But you've got to to plan to catch cobia, not just be in the ready and, oh, I just happen to see one going yeah, by and you fling something. Rare. If you want to go cobia fishing, you're going to have to chum heavy towards the wreck the rock yeah. you know whatever that structure is you got to be up from it so up the current, current yeah. to send it back to yep. the structure there you go. so that they can come to you and figure out what's going on yep. and the tournament chum and um aquatic nutrition chum are two of the chums that eric uses and oh. i use to get cobia i mean that's just what you use yep. and they like it they like it they like it a lot they will get all fired up by yep. the structure and come <laughs> and to they'll you. come to the boat yep. <laughs> you yep. know? so so i mean it's it's kind of the best of both worlds so um again what are you looking for you're looking for structure markers uh when the tide is very heavy look for them on the the the, the easy side of the marker yep. because fish are lazy just like we are they don't want to work any harder than yep. they They're have blocking to. the current so they will be you know on the back side of those uh yep. those markers so uh you could always have a a big jig with a uh you know a, a big mr twister or something on yep, the big rub whatever that makes a lot of you know motion as it falls uh you could throw that at them you know they like to do that but um yeah just keep in mind that these fish are migrating they're moving up so if you're not having any luck where you're at you know just maybe move, move north, north. Over, you know or move, move a little further out or move you know north just move you know, to just, destin just move or move straight on to destin because apparently they're stacked. they're there <laughs> that's where they end up at i mean nope. uh, these fish have been tagged they've been followed there's a big tagging program that goes on with cobia they are west for the what virginia oh yeah those oh, oh, come oh, down on the east on coast, the east coast from east, yeah. virginia yeah. they make their way down on the race they make their way down on the beaches they make their way down to the keys our fish make their way up from the other side of the keys all the way up to Destin. Yeah. It, those fish don't too much intertwine, believe it or not. Yeah. You don't have very many fish from this side that get tagged and go over there and hang out in Louisiana. Sure. It's a weird thing. It's just the way that it goes. Maybe it's because of sharks, or maybe it's just because that's what they know and that's what they do and they feel safe having their babies. Two different two different species, who knows? Yeah. you have to talk to a Kobe about that. No, another technique. And you're on the search. You want to look for them. Just like we grouper troll in this area, those same rocks, that same structure, that same everything else, cobia will eat a trolling plug. They love trolling plugs. I've caught plenty of cobia on the trolling plug. So if you run out of bait, you run out of this, you run out of that, and you still haven't caught your cobia, start looking. Start trolling. I have trolled the barge canal from Fisherman's Cut to marker number seven. Marker number seven is a great... I'll just give you a, whatever. Okay, everybody knows it. I'm going to tell you. Marker number seven. The weirdest thing about marker number seven is years ago, there was a marker broken off there, and there was always bait there. So the cobia would come and hang out on marker number seven. Marker number seven still holds cobia to this day. Yep. As they're coming through, those cobia will stop. Even though that marker's not there anymore, and it's just bait there, it's the weirdest thing. Those fish remember year to year where they're going to be and why they're going to be there and they stop in those areas they eat and they move on it's the craziest thing ever but marker number seven sometimes holds cobia yeah but i've caught them 
I've called them off of manatees' backs. Yep. So, so Jamie asked a question very similar to that. He says, are they on the rays in the Gulf? Uh, um, we, they, 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 they can be. Yeah. And, and we, we can't say yes or no because— We don't get that ray run. We, we, the, the, the big manta rays, yeah. we have them here. But, but we don't see, see them. Yeah, yeah, we they, don't see them. Our, our, our water not, clarity, clarity is not good. You enough. know, isn't like that. Yeah. So now, we see in the we'll, barge canal a ray jump up in there and yeah. go, "Oh, look, there's a ray!" Kaboom! He go. <laughs> now, in the past, I used to be very discouraged when a client or somebody would catch a big shark, and oh, I learned yeah. to not be discouraged anymore because as you Bring pull in that shark. I think on one trip, there was six cobia on, on that shark. one big shark. And you talk about the change scramble. of uh, scramble. Ch- change of attitude. Yep. You know? Oh, boy, we uh, we we had, you know, and we had to keep the shark on. And then we were mm-hmm. trying to catch these cobia and it, it was a blast. So they they will follow, you know, the big shark. You it was me and you in your sea hunt that day that we were offshore heading to that wreck. I think we had Jacob and a couple other people and remember when that shark was out there eating and we saw the shark eating and all those cubby around it that was you right that was that was the day we were coming out and everything was exploding i yes. think is what you're talking about the yeah, most we were craziest foot, yeah. yeah we were in yeah. 90 foot of water yeah. and we see a shark it's like oh look there's a shark over there then all of a sudden the whole area lights up and things just start exploding there was 30 cobia around these sharks and they're all hanging together and we're throwing baits out and hooking Kobe and bringing yeah. him to the boat. It was it was actual mayhem. It was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, that was a cool day. It was. Yeah, we were catching them on plugs. I mean, it was. It, they would eat anything. So so uh, Simon asked the question. No hoagie baits then. Um, no, we 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 use a hoagie. I've got a hoagie tied on, ready to throw at a moment's notice. Um, for when you do see a cobia come up to the yep, boat, if you can't to get them to eat anything else, get that hoagie, you know, and, and fling it out in front of them and see if they'll eat that. Um, like I said, you never know what they're going to want to eat. Yeah, you got to try I, everything. I, and I have found that no matter what it is, they don't want it limp at that point. Yep, when they're up move. next to the boat, you've got to wiggle it. You've yep. got to make it look alive. You've got to make it look distressed. Yeah. Like there's something wrong with it, and whatever they'll they'll jump on it. But uh, yeah, I've always this time of year you've always got a hoagie ready to throw. You know, about you the know, only about the only place me and Eric have found cobia that were aggressive as far as they're coming to us is the marker number two red can. When me and Eric would go out, we'd go to go grouper fishing. We'd always stop by, or in the beginning of the morning, stop by the red can because it was on the way. Yeah. It was two miles out of the way. We'd stop. Well, when Eric did circles in the boat. Things about Kobe is Kobe will come up to your motors. So as Eric's driving the boat around, I'm like, Eric, there's two Kobe behind the boat. Boom, we'd throw yeah. back, and they'd eat right away. Those fish love to eat. I don't care what you have. They will eat a bear hook because they're in the mood to eat. Once they see the boat, they, they're like, oh, you've got food. <clears throat> I think those fish hang around shrimp boats yeah. or something because they're ready to eat. Now, that red can has produced several cobia for me and Eric. Um, just driving the boat. You drive a boat in a circle, drive it in a circle the other way, the cobia come up. If they're there, they'll come up and say, hey, what, what's this? And then you feed them. And shrimp, we've caught them on dead bait. The hoagie, we've caught them on everything. So another, that works real well. Another tip, speaking of cobia being curious or whatever the case might be, if you know that you're cobia fishing, I know gas is high. Yeah, but if you let your engine run, they like that. They like that. They'll come yeah. and see what that's all about. Yeah, you know, I think it's a shrimp uh, boat thing yep. because they're used yep. to coming up to shrimp boats in Louisiana, where the shrimp boats throw their their, their yep. trash overboard. The tuna, the cobia, the sharks, they are all harmonious fish together. It's funny how they'll eat that bycatch and not destroy <laughs> each other. Yeah, so they get along at that time. <laughs> Any other time they don't get along, but during the shrimp boat time they get along, feed together. And John, I'm I'm gonna give them. One more tip before we uh, we we start oh, giving yeah. stuff You're away. You're gonna give yeah. them the, the extreme tip. Gonna 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 give them the bait. Okay. So there's only one of two fish that I know that eat this bait. One of them's a tarpon. The other one would be the the cobia. They will eat a catfish. That's big. Not too big. Not, not too small. Medium sized catfish. You get that six to eight inch catfish, you clip his barbs and everything off, and you drop that down there, they'll eat it. 
That is uh, that, that, that's that's delicacy. like a delicacy. <laughs> so, uh, but you've got to be careful though. Remember, a catfish that small, you go holding on to him, he's going to stick you. That's you got to. So cut you've got to have yeah. a pair of clines on board that will cut through that and not. And still, you got to be careful with them once you cut the spine because they're still part of the spine there. So remember, gloves, cut the spines, hook the cat, drop him down, and if you have to, another thing, another hold on. trick. Yeah, hold on. Another <laughs> trick is drop a bucket down with holes in it. Put your chum in the bucket. Drop it straight down below the boat. Right, now, I don't now, like now, to now, tell now, people you're, you're getting that, too many tips. Too many now, tips. John. Too okay, many tips, John. Mind, I said one more tip. Oh, okay, forget about that one. <laughs> that one is no good. That's a tip for last year. These Cobia this year, have, they've wisened up to that. Even FWC was looking at my boat yesterday going, so you do what? <laughs> <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> oh, Lord. Can't give away all the tips, Okay, okay, John. okay. Never mind. I'm out on that one. My bad. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. My bad. That- that 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 one come from old Denny Seabright right yep. there, you know that uh, <laughs> that 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 that, 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 that works for grouper not, too. By I the way, I was gonna say not not only uh, <laughs> oh yeah, man, uh, you whoop. drop a grouper plug down there, <laughs> you drop a grouper bait down there by that bucket yeah. and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, but don't spend a lot of money because the tiger no, because the tiger too. shark will, when you when the back of your boat goes like that, like in Jaws, you know you just lost your bucket because a tiger ate that whole thing. There we go, those trash cans. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, uh-huh. Well, John, there we go. I think we got through some cobia. We, nice. uh, if you got a better understanding, you know, yep. hit the like button on this. Uh, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for us. We did pick up a subscriber while we were live and uh, a few tips tonight, so we do appreciate that very much. Uh, again, um, you know, we do this show for you guys. Uh, so, John, show off what we're giving away for today's package. All tonight. right, you'll get a slightly used plantation hat. <laughs> Another Salt Life card for 20% off for just you to use. A stack of Jim's jigs. Mirror lure. Um, Ooh, the invisible ones. <laughs> they and, were invisible. And uh, some Flats Magic by Aquatic Nutrition, which will bring the old Cobia right in there to you. There you go. A killer box right here to put your um, flares and your keys and your wallets in the dry box. And your little tool for your prop and all that stuff fits right here in this little box. They make a good little tackle box, you do have a problem, uh, And, of course, there's going to be, I think, a shirt, shirt included from Nature in Coast that PM. from Nature Coast PM. Yeah, there we go. So there you go. And the question's easy tonight. Question is easy. One, two, three, four, five. And, and we've synced the Wii feed First now. five people to get it right go in the bucket. <laughs> there we go. I'm on the correct page, John. Yep. Let me get where I can't scroll no more. So what we do is we take these five pieces of paper... Right the first name. five right answers we see, we take your name, write it down. We put it in Sid Captain's Cove bucket, and, and then we it. draw. The winner will be the one with their <laughs> name written in horrible left-handed chicken scratch. Mm. <laughs> All right, John. So tonight's question. Do you think they're ready for this? I think they're ready. What is the all tackle world record for cobia how many pounds so again we're talking about tackle what is the all tackle world record for cobia world in pounds world record yep not could be anywhere not el florida yeah. the yeah. world and it's big <laughs> if i i think me and my wife have seen some this big believe it or not no yeah. I'm gonna give it to Ty because he, yeah. he he's pretty pretty like over the top. We would have gone for the first one there, <laughs> and then where did All right, it fall? We've got up? one person with the right answer. Let's see, where did it go? Where did it go? What's so there's no, no, no. We got James. We've got we got Katie. Where did Katie go? Let's see. I gotta start with Katie. Where did Katie go? I've lost Katie. Where did go? Oh, there she there. is. Okay, there she is. We got Tyler. We got Jesse. Yep, that's five. We got her five. Is that how we did? did, 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 did? Yep. All right, there got we go. Five. We got our five. So we've got Jesse, Tyler, Katie. 
James and Ty. The answer was 135 pounds caught in Western Australia back in 1985. Yep. The year before I graduated. So there we go. Everybody's going in the bucket. Shake, now, shake, shake it up, baby. Now. There have been bigger ones caught, but in different methods. They are, uh, there was one 175 pounds that they shot with the spear gun. Ooh, <laughs> so that was, a, that was a big I one for sure. I bet you that thing about killed the guy who shot it. Unless right. he stoned it somehow. All right, John. Big drawing time. Big drawing. Draw me a winner. Draw me a winner. Just one, John. I got just one. All right. Who is tonight's winner? Some guy by the name of Tyler. Tyler! Congratulations, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. There we go. Tyler. So, Tyler is the big winner tonight for tonight's prize package. So congratulations. Thanks, everybody, for playing and watching. As usual, we'll see everybody next week at 8 o'clock. And uh, We Be Tailing is brought to you by me as soon as we close find the right uh the right meme the right uh <laughs> the right the meme? we got it right here here Where's we the go meme? there we go we be tailings brought to you by shasty mcnasty fishing <laughs> G captain's cove outfitters <laughs> naughty tails uh, jim's jigs uh, fillets all blades <laughs> aquatic nutrition flashlights carries custom rods and nets there you go bonnie with state farm caddy can <laughs> Native nautical mailboxes. So live. There we go. All right. And uh, Nature Coast PM. Yeah. We'll see everybody next week. Everybody be safe. Go catch some fish.